A walk through any playground will prove that some kids enjoy the really big swing sets more than others. And those who really love wind and hair and stomach and throat, those are the kind who might grow up to be paragliders, throwing themselves off cliffs to store atop the thermals. The World Cup of paragliding was recently held over a soccer stadium in Colombia. And to better understand these birds of a different feather, ABC's Ginger Z took flight. This is what it feels like when you fall from the sky. <laughs> you right? Yep. But for these competitors in this high-flying sport, it's much more graceful. And in this instance, met with exuberant cheers. Viva Colombia! This is the Paragliding World Cup Super Final. Thousands of feet above the Colombian Andes, each of those bird-like wings has one of the top paragliders in the world dangling beneath. And one has me. This is not my first run off a mountain, but it is the first time I'll get inside the world's fiercest paragliding competition. Do you have a strong stomach for roller coasters? Yeah, for roller coasters, sure. <laughs> But before we get there, let's start the journey on terra firma. We're just leaving Rio de Janeiro. We're sitting on the top of a van on top of a bunch of paragliders and the Swiss team was uh, nice enough to give us a ride. At the top, there's a final hike. Many of the pilots lug their 50 pound packs. Others are happy for a little help. I had to take a break. The horse is the definition of a workhorse. Around 90% of those competing are men, so I wanted to embed with one of the top women from the states. Most people give up all other parts of life to compete at this level. You really have to dedicate your whole life to it. I started flying when I was 19 years old, so it's all I've ever done. Most people think we're crazy, yeah. but our inner family is very tight. Part of that tight family, my flyer for the day, a veteran pilot from the U.S. So we're going to have some fun. Have you flown in Colombia before? Nope. Okay. So it's our first voyage. This is both of our maiden voyage. <laughs> Anything different here than other places? Spanish. Spanish. And you'll touch the clouds a lot here, which is really fun. Yeah. Yep. Looking forward to that. Yeah. Thank you. Their task, because they're rested and they ask for more, is very long, about 80 miles, and very difficult. They're the best in the world, and they'll fly this virtual course in just under four hours, without ever touching back down and without any thrust or support from an engine. You wanted something longer and harder for this task? So longer and harder you have. In the words of the task committee, if you get fed up, you can always pull out. It's hard to believe in such a journey until you see the pilots harnessing the energy in our atmosphere. Look, there's just already dozens right above us. But there wasn't much time to wonder or worry. I had to get ready to launch. Looking up. Once we're heels up, Hola, Colombia! we don't just rocket into the sky. We have to find solar fuel, and that search starts really close to the mountainside. To gain altitude, we ride the thermals, or columns of warm air billowing from the sun-soaked land beneath. As soon as we find that lift, other pilots start to swarm around us. Soon after that, I you. I you. we're in the clouds, a meteorologist's dream. Surrounded by 150 paragliders, this is called the launch gaggle. It's kind of like the starting line of a marathon when everyone is stretching, but here they're feeling out the air. And then the race begins. The beehive of swirling wings takes off at up to 50 miles per hour. And within minutes, the once bustling sky is empty. Three hours later, we catch up by bus with those that made it to the finish. This is their task goal, and only about 50 or so will make it. Among them, American stars Eric Reed and Matt Beechner. <laughs> I did make it, yeah, just a little bit slow. I had a good position, oh. kind of mid-race was with right with the leaders and it had a little fall back there so just the momentary lapse in attention is is when you miss the climb you miss the bird you you, you uh, go straight instead of turning left it's an incredible game like it's we get hooked on it it's 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 such a fascinating game a lot of people dropped out so they drop out and yeah when you land mid-course it can be a lot more of an adventure yeah, <laughs> yeah a lot good. more of an adventure speaking of landing mid-course that's how our adventure had ended a few hours earlier our landing was awesome you all right yep 
but I wanted that big finish. So we flew and landed again. And this time, we had a little cheering section of our own. It's not enough to join the winners, but more than enough to always remember the day I touched the clouds.